You may have heard about powerful little magnets in children's toys. The Consumer Product Safety Commission even ordered one company to stop selling them, calling them a substantial product hazard, and that there were not enough warnings on the packaging for parents. The American Academy of Pediatrics says that these high-powered magnets, or rare earth magnets, have caused unnecessary surgeries, debilitating injuries, and other lifelong health impacts. One Kelloland family with five children was aware of the dangers of magnetic toys and didn't have any in the house. But that didn't stop their toddler from swallowing four high-powered magnets and nearly dying. In tonight's Eye on Kettleland, Angela Kennecke investigates this hidden danger that could be in your home right now and reveals an unexpected issue that is stopping the family from going to court. Whoa! Monty Trias is one busy three year old, but earlier this year, Monty was fighting for his life. I knew something was wrong because he kept vomiting um, constantly without water, without food. That happened over a March weekend. Come Monday, Monty's parents brought him into the Brookings emergency room. No test was ran, no blood was drawn, nothing. Um, he just said, yep, it looks like he has strep throat. Monty was sent home with an antibiotic. Instead of getting better, he got worse. Like, we got to do something now because there is something very wrong here. Back at the doctor's office, an x-ray showed something foreign inside his body. And I said, what? And so we look, and sure enough, there's something, it almost looks like a perfect square, like a dice or something. And it looked like a scrabble piece in his abdomen. Monty was rushed to Sioux Falls for emergency surgery. Doctors discovered that square was four magnets that had stuck to one another. Magnets? How in the world did he get magnets? We're like, what are you talking about? And she goes, and they were very strong ionic magnets. These rare earth magnets have about 18 times more magnetic energy than a regular magnet. These are the magnets that were inside Monty's intestines. And I cannot pull them apart. And each one got caught in a different loop of his intestine, and then they connected. It burnt holes. And it, and it and pinched his intestines. Emily and Rudy had no idea how Monty had gotten a hold of these powerful magnets. I searched the house up and down to find these things, uh, and I, I couldn't figure it out. Two magnetic trivets, which are really nice. A little piece of colored silicone was Emily's first clue that the magnets were from a silicone trivet from a Copper Chef cookware set the family had received as a gift. It's, if you haven't seen the trivets, they work fantastic. So yeah, I knew magnets were there, but never in a million years did I think they would be a potential hazard, you know, especially for my child swallowing them, yeah. Or that easy to get out. Right, exactly. I mean, it was just a matter of popping it out, really. Yeah, it wasn't anything that was very hard to do. And what do they look like? Little chocolate chip magnets. Emily opened a Copper Chef set from QVC, identical to the one she had received for Kelloland Investigates. We studied the packaging and warnings. The only indication of magnets was on the list of what was included in the package, two magnetic trivets. But there was no specific warning about those magnets or keeping the trivet itself out of the hands of a child. This is not safe for people to have in their homes. Monty's doctors reported the incident to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, which tells us it is investigating. The report to saferproducts.gov says the child required emergency surgery to remove the magnets and repair the holes in the intestine. He has been critically ill and required several trips to the operating room. I can't think of it as anything short of a miracle. Um, looking at how he was and how it was just very minute by minute at some points in, in the journey of this that he's doing as well as he is. They also contacted an attorney. We certainly believe that the company should be held responsible. Emily is a state employee. The South Dakota Employee Health Plan paid $380,000 in medical bills for Monty's treatment. Under the law, the state would be entitled to be reimbursed for the full amount if a lawsuit resulted in a judgment against the makers of Copper Chef. Normally what happens is this health plans will reduce their interest proportionate to the attorney's fees, sales tax, and costs. 
But when the Turback law firm contacted the state asking it to share legal fees and costs, the director of legal and human resources said no. Aaron Arnold wrote, the plan is expressly not required to participate in the payment of any attorney's fees or costs arising from a plan participant's legal efforts. Colhane says his family's law firm is too small to take on the huge and drawn-out expense of product litigation on its own. The triases can't afford the costs involved, but believe a case could raise awareness. And it was just really surprising to me that something like this could be on the market, available to anyone, you know, and my fear was just, man, what if somebody else's child gets this and the same thing happens to them? And that would be the last thing I would ever want. The only people that benefit if this claim doesn't get brought are the people that make the dangerous product and their insurance company. The state loses and the triage loses. Frankly, the community loses. Kettleland Investigates reached out to Aaron Arnold of the South Dakota Bureau of Human Resources. Arnold told us, we do not comment on pending or potential litigation matters. The parent company of Copper Chef TriStar Products sent us a written statement which reads, we were surprised by this report and are investigating. There are no other reports of injuries with the use of the trivet. We did not design or manufacture the trivet and no longer distribute the unit. TriStar also pointed out the instruction manual warns to always supervise children who are near the cookware when in use or injury may result. While TriStar may not be distributing the cookware set with magnetic trivets any longer, a quick check on Amazon shows there are many similar products still available.